In today's video, I wanna show you guys seven Google Slides tips and tricks that will turn your beginner slides into professional, clean looking slides. And this is perfect for school, work, or even personal branding to really just level up your Google Slides game. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to use high quality images. My favorite resource is actually pexels.com and this, and this is an extremely useful site to those who are looking for high quality images. So for example, let's just say we are creating a, uh, a Google Slides about the ocean. Now if I type in for example ocean, you can see here that there are just really, really high quality images. But let's just for example take this one uh, from Kelly here. And you can just go ahead and right click and hit copy image. But I wanna, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a title slide and I'm just going to go ahead and make this my um title slide image okay uh i'm just go, gonna go ahead and crop this and you know maybe make it half the slide here so it's like a really engaging uh title slide so let's just do that real quick so you know with google slides you can see that there's a red mark when you're reached halfway so just go ahead and do that and hit enter so you can see here that this is the um, high quality image that i'm using now the second tip that i have for you guys is to pick the right colors and font now, obviously, when you have a Google Slides uh, regular title slide here, you are greeted with a regular font, right? But the good thing about it is that you want to change and you want to use very, very uh, eye catching and a very nice font. So I don't recommend Arial and I would actually recommend fonts like Montserrat, for example, where Montserrat actually has a lot of different options here. So you can play around with the thickness of the font. Um, you can do the same thing with other fonts here. I'm pretty sure you can do Lexend. Uh, again, if you don't have any of these fonts, you can go ahead and hit more fonts here and type in uh, the fonts that you're looking for, okay? And again, plenty of fonts here. Uh, you can just go ahead and look around. But again, Montserrat or Lexin, I would highly recommend because they have a lot of variety in terms of boldness and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a bold font. So about the ocean, and then you wanna keep it consistent. So you wanna just change all this font also to Montserrat. And we don't want this to be bold, okay? We want it to be maybe medium or semi-bold, um, depending on you know what it is. So this is since this is a subtitle, I want to make it uh, just semi-bold. So for colors, again, black, very very plain, very very simple. But I do want to make it a nice theme color, okay? And another great resource that I use for this as well, it's called Coolers. I think this is Coolers. Um, it's like a play on word with colors. But if you click Explore Trending Palettes here. You can go ahead and actually have a look at different color palettes that uh, you know they've generated. I don't know if this is community generated or the coolers themselves um, generated, but you can see there's actually a different fonts here. Like for example, oh, different color palettes here, like Deep Sea or Ocean Blue Serenity. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at Coastal Blues because this gives me like a very very calming blue color, and it fits the theme. It fits the ocean theme, right? So let's just go ahead and use one of these darker fonts. So if I click on a color. It actually copies the uh, the hex code for that color. Now, when I go back here to Google Slides and I select my text over here, and I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit text color up here on top, and then hit custom color here. And if I hit this add a custom color, and I click it, and I Control V to paste that color and hit OK, you can see what happens is that the color actually changes. Okay. Now again, it's very very subtle. But it's things like this that actually uh, matter because you know it's the theming. Theming helps a lot with professionalism. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and pick a bit of a lighter color here, uh, just clicking it and using that for my uh, subtitle here, so my text. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So go to text color, add a custom color, and paste it as well. Now let's move on. Let's pretend we're actually creating our uh, our slides now. Now let's just say I want to grab another picture here for my other slide. Now I'm, I could just go ahead and grab this picture here by Clem, for example. And I kind of want to just want to make it into my background. So if I click background up here, when uh, when I have the slide selected, hit image, and then I can do an image from a link, right? So from a link, and if you could paste the URL of the image. So instead of actually copying it, you can just right click and hit copy image link. And once I do that, um, I can go ahead and paste it here on Google Slides. And what it will do is it will actually add that image and hit insert image. So as you can see here, a very, very nice uh, image of the ocean. And that leads me to my third tip, which is actually overlaying elements, okay? So now that if you choose to actually use this as a background image, you can actually overlay elements like squares, boxes, and stuff like that. So what I can do is actually I can make an over, I can make a text box here and I can actually overlay some text over it and I could just do center align on it so to make it a little bit better 
And again, we want to put it in the middle and you want to increase the font size a little bit because it is uh, it is going to be one of the titles right of this slide. And you want to keep the same font. So go ahead and go to Montserrat and do something like a semi bold or extra bold. Um, and again, you can play with this, play around with this however you like it. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font color again back to that color that we already have. So I can go ahead and put this one right here. So there you go. Learn more about the ocean. OK, now that I have this now again, overlaying elements is very, very important. So you can go ahead and create shapes. So you can do, for example, this rounded rectangle and actually creating different shapes like rectangles or squares. And again, you can just I'm going to make this one simple element for now, but I'm going to go ahead and change the shape color to something like uh, black here and change the stroke to none. So transparent here for the stroke. So if I want to change the opacity of this black, I can go ahead and fill color and hit uh, custom here add a custom color and then change this slider down here, which is the alpha, which is basically like opacity, right? You can make it to about maybe like 50% so you can see a little bit, of, a little bit of the background and a little bit of the rectangle and hit OK. And bang, you see things like that is going to be like overlaying elements on top of the slide. And the fourth tip that I want to add is adding reflections or drop shadows. Now reflections and drop shadows are actually really neat features that already come built into Google Slides. So for example, that we want to create, uh, you want to click this title and you want to add kind of like a shadow or a uh, reflection. So that way it makes the slide look a little less flat. OK, well, if I hit some text and I hit format options here, you could immediately see on the right that I have a uh, drop shadow and a reflection. OK, so drop shadow and reflection is again, like I said, built in and if I hit drop shadow. You can see that it does drop a little bit of a shadow here behind it. OK, so it makes it look less flat, less boring, and it pops out the title even more. OK, you could change the, the color if you want it to be a little less dark. Um, you can change the opacity. OK, so I can do black and do like a 50 percent opacity. You could also change the angle, the distance, the radius. So if you click reflection here, you can see that it actually reflects underneath it. You can see that what I want to do is I'm just going to change the opacity here to about like 24 percent. Um, again, you can play around with this opacity. You can play around with the distance here a little bit, the size. OK, sometimes you don't want it to, you know, go past the water again. It's up to you, preferably whether you want the reflection or the shadow or not. But it looks really, really clean and it just makes it pop out more. OK, now that I have this element over here, I'm just going to go ahead and shrink it a little bit like this. Now I could add some text into it. I could write directly here and, you know, write on this shape itself. But since it is a little bit limiting in terms of how you could format that text, I'm just going to go ahead and create a text box. OK, so if I click this on the top right here, the T's and I click text box, I could go ahead and drag it right here and I type my text. So, for example, I have fun facts about the ocean here. OK, and then what I can do is change the font. So I'm going to select this whole font and change it to Montserrat as well. And I'm going to do, for example, uh, medium or semi bold in terms of the thickness. And again, I'm going to go ahead and select everything and change the font color to white. OK, so changing it to white so it's a little bit easier to read. And again, I want to just keep overlaying elements because I think it looks cool and looks clean. It's it's a fun way to pop it out, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a oval or basically a circle uh, or oval, whatever you want to do. So if you click and drag and you hold shift, it becomes pro proportional um, scaling. And I just want to create it kind of like around this size here. And I just want to put it over this um, rectangle. OK, in terms of the color, I could change the color again. So I want to change it to actually one of the colors that we picked earlier from the palette, which is going to be this dark blue color. So then I have this uh, this one right here and then I have this uh, shape here, which is going to be uh, overlay for my text, like a background overlay. And that leads me to tip number five, which is actually adding icons. OK, adding icons, even though subtle, it's actually very, very nice and it adds a really, really clean touch to your presentations. Now, another great resource that I want to show here is called flaticon.com. And I've been using this for, you know, the, my whole life, basically. And I love this website because it gives really, really clean icons and there's a lot of options that you can pick. So, for example, I just typed in ocean here on the top and you can see that there are different ocean icons. OK, I can just click it and then I could just hit copy PNG here. And what I can do is I can just paste it. OK, I could paste it anywhere that I want to. Um, I can go back to over here to my title slide. And if I really want to, I can go ahead and paste it and just 
leave it here at the top if I want to kind of create a little icon here about the ocean and you can see here that you know it just adds a little nice touch to the slide it just is very very clean and and you can put it next to the word ocean if you want very simple but it just adds a nice little like sparkle okay on the i don't know how to describe it but it just looks really really clean now if i go back to flat icon what i can do is i can actually look for a certain color if i want i can look for gradients i can look for colors i can look for black now this is going to be counterintuitive but i actually want to click a black okay so what this does is actually it filters out all the uh, fish icons here to kind of have all the only you know the black colored fishes here so what I can do is I can just, for example, grab this fish here, copy PNG, for example, and then I'm going to paste it on this slide. Well, wait a minute. I thought you said you want a light color. I thought you want it to be, you know, white. Why are you picking a dark color? Now, that's because if you go to um, Google Slides, they actually have a very neat recolor option here. So if you click recolor and you open this up there's actually an option here. It looks like there's nothing there, OK, because the background of this uh, drop down menu is white. But this will actually turn this fish into white. Now, what this, what you can do with this fish is now you could finally put it here on this icon, and you know you can write you know a fun fact about the ocean. For example, there are a lot of fishes that swim in the ocean, and that actually leads me to tip number six, which is going to be grouping elements and distributing them. You don't want to manually do a lot of work and copy pasting and all that stuff, um, especially because you've already had these nicely formatted. So what you can do is you can actually group this together. Okay. So if you just click and drag this whole, like the, the amount of elements that you just created, you can actually just hit right click and hit group. And what that does is that it makes it into one large group, okay? So when you click and drag something, you don't accidentally misalign anything and you can actually just easily click and drag everything. Now what that allows you to do is that that allows you to copy everything as a group. So if I hit control C and control V here, you can see me kind of copying and pasting this all together and pasting it like that and then the other part of the tip is going to be um, aligning the elements and distributing them okay so if you have for example you you have something like this and you want to like equally space them out you can easily do that by hitting right click uh, uh, group or distribute and do uh, vertically here okay you can see that now they have equal distance apart but what you can do is you can do right click hit align horizontally and hit center now what that does is that it just aligns them again horizontally right so this is again a great tip if you it saves you a lot of time so now when you copy and paste these elements for example you can go ahead and actually they're already center aligned um, you can just use the grid lines here to kind of put them next to each other like this now they have six of these you could actually copy uh, select all of them hit right click and you could center them on page and you could center them horizontally okay so that way they're, you know, in the center of your presentation and they won't take up that much space. All right, I am back. And now you can see here that I've just populated this with some fun ocean facts, but I did use the same tricks to create these icons. Now the seventh tip is actually kind of a cheat code, okay? The next tip is actually using a Google Slides built-in diagrams. Now, you guys may not know this already, but Google Slides actually has built-in diagrams. So if you hit insert, go to diagram and hit view all. You can see the different diagrams here. So for example, you can see there's a timeline diagram, there's a process diagram, there's a relationship diagram. Now, since we're talking about the ocean, let's just say we're talking about the ocean cycle, okay? You can clearly see here, there is actually a cycle diagram already built in for us. So for example, there's five steps to the ocean cycle. You can go ahead and click this right here, which is the, you know, one of part of the ocean cycle. And you can actually, change the colors if you want. So they all look you know, red, they all look blue. But for our purpose, we're just gonna make it blue for now, but we'll just change them all up later. And this is really, really great because it doesn't require you to create this from scratch, okay? Now, the only thing that you have to remember is just if you wanna keep the consistency, you do have to change the fonts of these because these probably come into like a default Roboto font. So now once I'm done formatting this, okay, I can go ahead and look for a dark background, for example, like this ocean. It looks pretty dark and it looks like a high quality image. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. Again, go back to background, uh, change the image of this background to a link here. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here and hit insert image. And as you can see here that the image has been inserted. But what you have to do now is you have to change the text color for all your text here to a lighter color. So I'm just you know selecting all the text. Now these arrows, same thing. You could change them all to white here. Same with this one. 
and then you know just just do it for all of them and you can just do it with like a gray or like maybe like a darker gray here um you could again change the colors of these tiny little elements here so they all turn to white um so that way it's all synchronized and it looks clean and again you can bold these different steps on the top you can kind of make them into um the titles of them so i'm just control b and yeah i believe that is a good amount of tips to really level up your google slides game here and just make it stand out and make it look very very clean okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys all in the next video